<clears throat> Before I begin, let me just spark this joint. So, <laughs> up until now, I haven't really said anything to the camera. But I thought <laughs> I'd start doing these little kind of blogs every now and again. See how it goes. Um, first, I'm going to talk about <laughs> Elliot Smith. Elliot Smith was like... <clears throat> A big deal. <laughs> Let me expand upon that. For those of you who don't know him, he was um, an artist that started in the late 90s, mid late 90s, and his career ended in 2003 when he took his own life. Uh, he was an indie artist, he was an independent artist to start. Um, eventually, he got signed with a major record label. And he never really achieved super mass fame, but he has a cult following, and he has a very close, tight-knit cult following, too. I mean, Elliot Smith fans are more dedicated fans than I've ever seen for any musician or any artist. And I think that's because a lot of his songs are really personal, and a lot of people, or the people who can relate to his music, really do relate to his music. Um, a lot of his music has to do with, um, there's a lot of depressing themes, um, you know, sad music isn't for everyone, but for me it's like sad music makes me happy, and, and a lot of Elliot's music just comes off as sad, but it's not necessarily sad, he just uses a lot of minor chords, and basically he <coughs> has a lot of, uh, sad sounding melodies but anyways if you don't know who he is I just recommend you download every album of his and just listen to it start to finish and if you don't like him you don't like him he's not for everybody but if you do end up liking him I swear to god it will change your world he is the biggest influence on me musically um, but being an Elliot fan this out. Being an Elliot fan goes beyond just being a fan of his music. It's like you become a fan of Elliot uh, and who he was and the legacy he left behind. Uh, he was just like a really cool guy and he had a really u uh, unique way of... he had a really unique presence and it comes off as kind of shy and a bit awkward at first. Um, but once you get to know him, and you watch his interviews, and you listen to his music, he just becomes like, uh, I can't put my finger on it, but you just, you really feel like you can connect to the guy, and every word he says, you just kind of like, hang on to, like it, it means so much more coming from him, anything he says. Uh, <clears throat> like I gotta say, like I've, had bands I've gotten into like Nine Inch Nails, uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, System of a Down, the Beatles, George Harrison. Like these guys are my idols, and I've really gotten into these bands. But ever since I've gotten into Elliot, there's never been anything like him. Like it's not even music to me anymore. It's it's like medicine. And Elliot Smith fans will know just what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he was a beautiful person, and his lyrics and his melodies are just, they just take me away. And, um, I guess, um, why I relate to Ellie Smith so much is because, well, first of all, on the most basic level, his melodies are very catchy to me, and they're very easily likable, but it goes so far beyond that, like, in his lyrics, um, I guess I can just relate to, I don't know, I don't want to say this, but like, um, he does kind of pity himself a bit in a lot of his lyrics, um, 
I mean, he's not afraid to express himself that way. He, he has nothing to hide. And I kind of feel like I get down on myself too sometimes, and um, I can really relate to him in that sense. And um, as far as drug addiction goes, I can relate to him on that sense. Um, for the past few years, I've been addicted to crystal meth, and that's something I'm not afraid to share with you because, you know, that's a part of me and it's a part of my music too, so I kind of have to share it for you if you want to listen to my music, but... But yeah, that's... I could go on all day about Elliot Smith. The best thing for you to do is just go and discover him for yourself. And, um... If you do end up liking it, you'll be thanking me one day, trust me. He's like, uh... I feel like he's my best friend, like... He's always there for me, and it's such a shame that he died. Um, he lost his life. He took his life. A lot of people debate that his girlfriend actually killed him. And there's a strong debate on that. Personally, I believe in my mind 100% that he killed himself. I mean, you could see it in his lyrics and just in the way he talked and just the circumstances. But um, I can see why people think his girlfriend killed him. But I have more reasons against it than for it, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I don't even know if I'm making too much sense now. I'm <coughs> kind of high, but that's my little rant for now. Um, to everyone who subscri uh, subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate any comments you can leave on my um, videos, good or bad. I'm open to constructive criticism. Um, but any comments you could leave really do help a lot, and I like reading them, they're fun for me to read, and, um, yeah, if you can share my channel or favorite some of my videos, I'd really appreciate it, and, uh, you know, keep checking back, I'll keep uploading, and, uh, I ran out of things to say now, so, <coughs> that's it, cheers.